Well, hello, YouTube! Hey guys, it's Fletch. Welcome back to the Big Sky Tactical Channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the Magpul Bad Lever or Battery Assist Device. Uh, another one of those uh, kitcheny uh, marketing acronyms that Magpul likes to use. But basically what this is, is just an extension of your slide release and your bolt hold open here on the side of your AR platform rifle. And basically this lever here uh, mounts on the top here and then wraps uh, underneath here into your trigger well so that you don't have to use your left hand to uh, slide the, <clears throat> excuse me, to release the slide after you've done a reload. So uh, bear with me a second here and I'll get the camera resituated to get a close up of the work that we're going to be doing here. So uh, what the kit comes with here is you get uh, your screw that already has a little bit of blue lock tight on it and a Torx wrench that you're going to need to tighten the screw in. And then you get uh, the two piece lever kit here. There's the top and then the back plate right here slides into it <clears throat> and uh, if you look at the back side of it there you can see how it molds and fits around it pretty nicely and so what you're doing is this is basically just going to uh, clamp around your um, bolt release and your catch for it kind of it's a uh, ping pong paddle you know back and forth so First thing we're going to do is we're just going to take this piece here and slide it underneath and it lines up um, and if you hit the release on your uh, bolt catch a little bit it'll also allow it to slide under there pretty easily. Then we're going to take the top piece and just slide it over the top and make sure that our holes are lined up. Hopefully I'm not getting my big fat head in the way. <laughs> Alright, so there we are. And you can see that I've got the piece underneath, the piece on top, and the bad lever is going through the uh, trigger guard, trigger well right there. So we're going to get in there and gently start screwing it in there. We don't want to get it wrong and strip out our screw. There we go. I feel the threads catch now. Alright, so I'm going to turn it sideways here. And this is a Torx head on here, so we're just going to turn it. And one thing that I found in working on guns, anytime that you get a screw that has dried on um, Loctite on it, it's going to give you a false sense of when it's actually tight and when it's not. Because when you get to the part to where the dried on Loctite is passing through the threads, it's going to be a lot more difficult at that point than it is at, at any other point so uh, that's just something to kind of keep in mind for those of you that might be uh, possibly a little bit newer to working on guns uh, when you get a screw look at the screw and if on the side of the screw it's got some bl uh, dried blue thing uh, uh, material around the threads on there then that's Loctite and that helps hold your screw into place from backing out and so when you're tightening it tightening a screw in that has it on there it's going to be pretty easy to screw in until you get right to the point to where the Loctite is and then you're going to have to screw through that and it's going to be a little bit harder at that point to get it through so we've got it on there and if we look at the top it's all mounted on there flush so I know that it's on there right so, <clears throat> it just what the bad lever does is it's just creating an extension 
on your bolt catch and release <clears throat> so that you can do the functions using your right finger here in the inside the trigger guard and uh, you know you can still do the bolt catch so you would push up on it and when you release it you push down so let me flip it over here and so here's my finger and here's the bad lever right there so what we're going to do if I want to uh, lock it back I'm going to pull back on the charging handle push up on it and that's going to lock it into place so <clears throat> now it's locked back and you can see how the bad lever is now pushed up and so if I were to reload and I just put a, a magazine of fresh rounds in there and then I would simply push on the bad lever and that releases the bolt and it slides forward so that's it it's basically just an extension of your uh, bolt release and bolt catch that's it it's that simple that easy that is the Magpul bad lever or battery assist device well thanks for joining me today guys I greatly appreciate it this is Fletch with the Big Sky Tactical Channel signing off